Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here. Welcome to one of the most shambolic races you will ever see on this game. This guy, Spawn Whisperer, this guy has just seen Momos and just blown him out of the water. Just watch this video guys, it's unreal. So the first part of this video, what we're going to do, we're going to go through the 10 laps that I've got here. I'm going to show you all the overtaken moves, all the instants and stuff like that. And at the end of the video, we're going to go over those and I'm going to show you, you know, do slow mo, kind of slow them down and you can see um, exactly what's happened. So, we get this race underway. So we overtake 19th place. The idea originally for this video is that I was going to jump onto my second account and then I was going to do like a last to first place kind of challenge. It didn't quite work out like that. So we've started this race. This is Dragon Trail Daily Race C. And then we go for the Death Chicane for the first time. And then just absolute carnage. There's like three people have died. Like, honestly, the Chicanes claimed three people. I almost claimed someone as well. I, I don't know what happened. Some sort of weird glitch. And I kind of pushed the guy forward. But I didn't get a penalty for it. So I've seen, I've seen to have gained three positions, which was mental. Uh, the guy from Denmark here doesn't really care that I'm up on the inside. Uh, and then just kind of cuts me off. But it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, this race. So it's Daily Race C, Dragon Trail Seaside. Uh, it's Group 4 cars, 10 laps, uh, low tyre wear, and you have to use the hards. So you've got the choice of the hards or the mediums in the race. My strategy for this race was to just go on hards and go all the way to the end. Now, there's a little bit of argy bargy here. Look for a move the inside, but this is a CS rated lobby, so I'm just going to take my time. I don't want to make any you know rash decisions. I don't want to do any major dive bombs that could cause the other person to react badly, which we all know can happen in these kind of lobbies. Even though they're S-rated, uh, the penalty system does let people get away with murder these days. Now, I'll go for a nice move on the inside here. Just get past uh, the Frenchman in the Audi TT. Job done. Now, around the outside of the guy in the pink Audi. That was really nice move there. Pretty dangerous to go for that move. As we go downhill here, going for the sharp breaking point. You see these guys here, look, they're fighting like crazy. All three of them collide. I managed to get past one, get past the second. The Audi collects me slightly as he comes back on the racing line. Now, I was worried I was going to get a penalty there, but thankfully, we prevail and nothing happens. So we get those two guys here, we skip ahead a little bit more, and we can see that there is a Brit serving a penalty, so that puts me up into P10. Fast forwarding a little bit here, uh, we've still got the guy in the Nissan GTR, the guy from Denmark. Now at this point, he just decides to drive off. <laughs> I don't know why, I swear to you, I had so much time to get back on the track or not even go wide. And then look ahead, can you see that guys, can you see that? There's just, there's just an incident and there's just this guy um, <laughs> who was plumbed and plumbed. He was absolutely planted into the wall uh, and he's come back on the track and yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there but I'm going to show you guys, don't you worry about that. When we finish the race, I'm going to show you exactly what happened to this guy. So we're up to P9 now. So this is good. We've made 11 positions already and we're only three laps into this. So pretty mental race so far. So, iron this guy up in the red TT. Am I going to go to the right? Yes, I am. Am I going to have to outbreak him? I do just about, but we need to make sure we sit on the apex to get past him. A little bit of contact there, a little bit of contact again, but we've got to give him the space. There you go, all the way on the right-hand side. Surprisingly, there was well, the German in front of us actually goes into the pits. So he pits on lap three on the mediums, which I was really, really surprised about, to be honest with you. I mean, if you're going to get on the mediums, you may as well, you know, make the most of it. Three lap seems a little bit bizarre to me, a little bit strange. Anyways. Uh, once more, we're on the outside of the Audi TT, but like I said earlier, guys, I don't trust these kind of lobbies, so I'm just trying to back off uh, and see what I can do. Again, part of this video originally was to try and get from last to first, but also build my driver rating up on my second account, because it is just CS, so I'm trying to build it up. Uh, you can blame Gran Turismo for that, because they've, they've really, really <laughs> um, been harsh on the older account resets recently. Anyways, the guy up ahead goes wildly off, and I have to break and harshly move over to the right make sure that I don't plummet into the back of it because you know what it's like the tiniest touch and the game will give you a second penalty it doesn't matter if the guys just come off the track and come back on the game doesn't know that the algorithm does not know that all it knows is that someone's bashing into the back of him and yeah they're just going to give that guy a second penalty so we go through this um, this mini S section here a really cool corners uh, and we are right on the back of this guy can we go to the right hand side we do indeed this should be textbook okay uh, kiss the middle of the apex lovely stuff just get my car in front of his um, bumper there and we move ourselves up to p7 now lovely stuff or so i thought because it goes to this point here yep i think you can see the wall <laughs> and my mclaren and bang see you later yeah i got claimed by the death chicane 
Really, really stupid of me to do, to be honest, but it's easily done. Easily done. But we lose two positions, but by the end of the next lap, we've caught up with them already anyways. Uh, the guy, again, in the Audi TT, he tries to go for the, the right racing line, but he puts the power down too much and ends up going wide on the corner, the exit the corner. So I managed to sneak that position back. And we're going to have to go through the dev chicane once more, just, Ollie, for the price's sake. Do not hit the wall this time. Can we go through here? Lovely stuff. Yeah, no issues at all. A little bit slow, but it is what it is. Um, just about to take this guy. Can I get the guy in the GTR? He's going to go on the outside here. Yes, are we going to get him? We should have the inside here. Yeah, lovely stuff. Also, guys, if you're wondering why I'm showing this in the replay cameras, um, my recording, um, originally, um, the audio is completely gone on it. So I've had to... Thankfully, I saved the replay, so we'll go from there. Anyways, you can see the guy in P4 has just come out of the pits, and I get a massive shunt uh, from the guy in this and GTI. He completely misses his breaking point. Uh, yet again, just to add salt to the wounds, the Audi uh, TT driver just completely drives past me. These guys start to get real, uh, <laughs> really friendly with each other, let's just say that. And they're just constantly knocking each other off the track. And you see you've got four cars here, and they're absolutely battering each other. It's like Destruction Derby. Look at this. Watch this guy. Look. Look. <laughs> He just doesn't care. He just does not care. And he's destroyed, he's destroyed like, <laughs> himself and two others. That was, um, yeah, literally like kind of Armageddon. <laughs> he did not care. It was funny to watch at the time. But anyways, this guy here. So this is the guy I mentioned at the start of the video. He is, without a doubt, just something else. I, honestly, we'll go out, it's just going to be so good. So good. I laugh at it now, but when I was in it, I was like, this is just... A massive, like, what the hell. So he gives us a massive um, nudge there, which gives him one second penalty. You think, yes, okay, that's good. The penalty system, in a way, has worked. So that's good stuff. Now he gets a one second penalty. So we're going to follow him here through the Death Chicane. Let's see if he's a good boy, and let's see if he goes through here without any issues. Okay, we're going through here as well. Taking that curve, okay. Taking that all right. Going to the right-hand side as soon as I can without hitting the wall. This is looking good so far. We can look for a move on the inside here. But the guy from Portugal has other ideas and basically just completely and utterly sandwiches me and then he destroys me. Honestly. Have you ever seen something so bad? Honestly, that is just terrible. It's like just to squeeze me like that and then take me out. And I can tell you now, guys, he didn't get anything for that. He just had his one second penalty. That's all he got. Amazing. Amazing. Anyways, skip ahead. Uh, we overtake a pink Audi TT this time, um, nice and easy, and we go for a move around the outside of this guy, um, really nice move around the outside, just managed to get the traction down in the um, go louder pedal, uh, quicker than he did, and um, we managed to go around there, and we put personal best in on lap 8, so that goes to show you how mental uh, my race has been. Anyways, <laughs> we finally catch up this guy from Portugal once more, now he goes terribly wide, horrible entry to that corner, uh, again, tries to go into the side of me, I'm having none of it, I've just gone past. But the game, yep, uh, man, just shocking, absolutely shocking, like it was just clean as a whistle, he's gone into me and I get a second penalty, oh there you go, there you go, honestly, what is this guy, honestly, just a, oh, mate, come on, like, so, so bad, doesn't matter, we'll, we'll stick on, we'll stick on board, we'll see if we can get revenge, we've got one lap left, we have got a second penalty, so let's see, let's see if we can somehow get past him, even with this penalty, and still get that P4 position. So he's on the inside here. You can tell by my driving style throughout this whole lap. I'm trying to be so, so cautious. So I, I go to the right-hand side of the track here. I'm not interested in racing side by side. I just want to avoid him at this point. I just want to make him do any sort of mistakes. I want him to take a bad racing line. Brakes really, really early. So I think about moving the inside, and I get it done. That's nice and easy. That was just bad driving from him, so I've shot up on the inside. Good stuff. Now, I have to serve my penalty, which is an absolute killer. Uh, and that drops us back down to P5 once more. So we fast forward. Uh, we're going to go through this sharp right-hander leading onto the Death Chicane once more. Again, doesn't take that particularly well. He's turning in too much, scrubbing up a lot of speed. I'm going to go outside on the outside here, but I'm going to have the inside in the next one. You can see he's just squeezing me even now. He is desperate. And then I do this little party trick. Yeah, see you later, mate. And I tell you. Him smashing into that wall, I got a three second penalty. Could not care less. That is the least I've ever cared about a three second penalty. Or any, pe or any penalty, ever. That was just the most satisfying thing I have ever done. 
in my life. It was, <laughs> that's a bad thing to say, but it was ridiculous. Anyways, now let's go have a look at the highlights because we finished our race. So this is the incident I was on about, the, the death chicane here on the lap one. Just look at this. So the Jaguar hits the wall. He then hits a Honda NSX, and I think the Jag collects someone else. The NSX gets a free second penalty. Okay? So that's incident number one. Incident number two, then. So we um, have a look on board of the Nissan GTR. Now, this is the incident, I believe, where there's three of them going wide. So he just taps the Italian on the left-hand side. The Italian is just kind of a bit argy-bargy. I think the Italian doesn't want to go into the back of that guy uh, and then kind of pushes himself over to the right-hand side, ends up taking both out, and then the Nissan GTR benefits brilliantly from that. So <laughs> that's incident number two. Now, incident number three, on board with uh, the red Audi TT once more. This guy from Portugal, look at him. Honestly, um, just just so bad. Look at that. So this is the guy when we look forward and you wonder to yourself, what, what's going on there? Honestly. <laughs> look at this again. Like, he's just not interested, is he? Oh, it's just, it's appalling. Like, it really, really is appalling. And let me tell you guys, the game, Gran Turismo, said this guy was a S-rated sportsmanship. S-rated. Can you believe that? It's just shocking. It really, really is. Anyways, this is incident number four now, I believe. This guy... In the GTR, just smack, bang, straight into the back of me. Just completely missed his breaking point. I don't think this was malicious. I don't think this was on purpose. But yeah, absolute shocker. Absolute shocker. Uh, and again, you can see these guys fighting ahead. So I'm gonna, um, we're gonna skip back to this point here. So this is the TT. So we're gonna go through this second corner of the track, technically, I guess. The first one, the right-hander. You don't really call it a corner, to be honest with you, but technically it is. So he's just trying to back off here. Slams in the back of the GTR. Again, I don't think it's intentional. I just don't think he's got anywhere to go. So the game slaps him with a penalty. And then this guy here, look at him. He's just furious from the Portuguese guy. I don't know what's happened. And he's just slamming him. It's just unbelievable. So you can see this guy in the Audi TT is now furious. And this is where, you know, the pileup happens. So he smashes him. And he goes to the guy on the left as well. He collects the guy in the Red Bull livery Audi TT, who's completely innocent in all of this. And just look at the carnage. Look at the carnage that has caused. Just such a dirty, dirty lobby. It was unbelievable. Uh, without a doubt, one of the dirtiest, if not the dirtiest, I've ever taken part in. Let me know, guys, in the comments if you have worse than this, because this is absolutely shocking. So the guy from Portugal there makes a mistake, smashes into the side of me. And then I unfortunately hit the GTR. Now the guy from Portugal does get, um, does get a penalty there, um, which is good. But it's not. It's you know, it doesn't do us any favors. One second is not really enough. This guy deserves more. Uh, he really shouldn't be honest with you. He shouldn't really be playing the game. He's that kind of driver. Uh, well, he certainly, should, certainly shouldn't be in the S-rated lobbies. Not at all. So we'll go over the instant one more. So you're going to just see me. I'm just going to pop over to the right hand side and just wait for that. Just once again, um, yeah, just squeezes me. Just honestly, what an absolute piece. What honestly? Oh, head of my hands. Head of my hands over that one. This guy, uh, honestly, if he watches this, I, mate, you're just a disgrace. You really are. You're pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Right, okay. What's this, incident number six now? Well, they're just piling up. Okay, so we go past him. Uh, we get a little bit of a coming together there. He comes a race line. That's where I get my one second penalty. Absolutely BS, as we all know. And then this guy here. So this is the incident from him. Flies up on the inside. It's actually fine and then clear. And then he just decides to accelerate when his car was never going to make it. Smashes me off. Just insane. Anyways, right. Skipping ahead. This is probably going to be the last incident. Is it? It's lap 10 from uh, the Spawn Whisperer. More like the Spawn Dickhead. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that was absolutely terrible. That was, yeah, nice one, Ollie. Really, really good, mate. Anyways, as you can see here, the most satisfying thing of this whole video is just watching this replay back and just seeing him get absolutely wrecked. Fantastic, absolutely loved it. But I hope you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like. Smash that subscribe button if you are new around here. And uh, yeah, please help me get to 10K by the end of the year. Absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you for the next one. Take care. Ta-da.